regulation on wholesale energy market integrity and transparency, REMIT for short, was created to tackle insider trading and other market abuses. While the national regulatory authorities are given powers of enforcement and investigation, the task of screening for abuses at the European level goes to ACER. ACER is an agency for cooperation of energy regulators. And to tell us more about REMIT, we have here a director of ACER and the FSR policy events advisor, Mr. Alberto Potocznik. So what are the main objectives and features of REMIT? Well, REMIT has introduced a sector-specific framework for detecting and deterring market abuse and insider trading in European energy markets. It introduces provision, explicit provisions for the first time for this kind of activities in the European wholesale energy markets. It's also introduced a, uh, obligations to disclose insider information. Finally, in, in, it introduces a specific monitoring framework to, um, to monitor the market. So um, these are the main features. So why is REMIT so important for the completion of the internal energy market? Well, the, the internal energy market, we believe, will lead uh, to and benefit from greater integration of national markets. So there will be more and more trades across the borders. So the market will become more complex for the benefit uh, of all consumers, uh, greater efficiency in the market, but also more complex transactions. So we need a more robust, a more effective framework for monitoring the market to make sure that this market functions well. The degree of efficiency that we can reach in the market and therefore in the sectors depends on the well-functioning of trading in the wholesale market. So what are the main implications of REMIT for the energy partners? Right, I, I would like to think that energy participants, energy market participants will benefit from REMIT. Um, markets uh, will be more transparent, uh, they will have reassurance that uh, information is available to all market participants and therefore that they can trade with their counterparties on the basis of the same information. And what we are trying to do is make sure that the implementation, the introduction of REMIT does not uh, impose excessive burden on them. We are very careful, for example, to avoid double reporting. We are trying to take advantage of as much as possible of existing reporting channels uh, through trading venues, through power exchanges, gas hubs, etc. Um, so we're trying to deliver as much benefit as possible to market participants at least possible costs. But when we think about the consumers, what will be the implications of REMIT for them? Well, in, 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 in a liberalized retail market, and here I think I want to think of small consumers as well as large industrial customers, because at the end of the day, they're all equally important. Um, well, with the liberalization of the retail markets, uh, we will hope that retail prices will reflect more and more prices in the wholesale market. And therefore, I think it is essential for final consumers to have confidence that the prices at retail, but also at wholesale level, reflect the market fundamentals. They reflect the interplay of supply and demand, and they are not affected by the behavior of specific market participants who may want to take undue advantage of either the information which they have or position that they have on the market. So um, we hope that with Remit, as well with other provisions um, in, uh, in the third package, for example, final consumers will have more confident of better prices. Not necessarily lower prices, we can't promise that, but better prices, prices which are more reflective of the fundamentals in the market. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you again in Florence. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. In 2013, Florence Co. of Regulation will launch a new training on REMIT, but no more information right now. You can sign up for our newsletter and you will receive more information next year.